So hello, I'm gonna be doing a quick tutorial today um, about V8 because I've noticed recently um, upon attempting to cause a myriad of matches that a lot of players just are very new to the game. I assume that the Steam sales have something to do with that and don't really know how to play the game. So if you are new to V8 and have no fucking clue as to what you're doing, um, then this is for you and I hope it will help. And I should probably also add a disclaimer, I am definitely not the best player out there, I'm relatively crap. But I do know how players generally should play, because I cost matches of people who can actually play. So um, that's something that you do have to bear in mind. So I'm gonna give you tips, and I'm gonna show you how to do certain stuff. And I'm gonna do it against the AI, and hopefully don't die horrendously because then obviously I would kind of lose face in a very major way um, but yeah that's about the idea so I'm gonna start the game I don't know why there's two planets but whatever so yeah um, first issue of the day is actually um, spawn location if you spawn in a multi-planet system, always zoom out and check if there's um, any other planets that you can spawn on early on in the game. Uh, obviously, that isn't the case this time around. I can only spawn on the main planet. But it might be that there's different planets that you can spawn on, so it's always worth checking out. Um, so you don't get any nasty surprises. Next thing, if you do want to spawn, you see these green circles that you can spawn in. And these green dots that you see scattered around the place are metal spots. These are very important because metal is one of the two resources that you need, the other one being energy. Um, so inside of this circle we have five metal spots with one uh, quite close to that. In this circle we also have five metal spots but uh, there's more metal spots scattered about the place that are closer to the spawn here than they are around this area. We have some mountains here, which could potentially be a defensible location, but the metal spots are here, so that doesn't really help. And the same goes for this. So, there's no real jokes that we can exploit. Uh, and because of that reason, I'm gonna probably spawn in this area here. Also, another tip, if you press the end button, uh, then the planet aligns north to south. So, it will put the north pole of the planet that you're viewing at the top and the side pole at the bottom. So let's get started. So come on response and immediately I start building uh, some metal extractors if it lets me, which it doesn't. <laughs> okay, apparently I had a bit of lag there. So I start with two metal extractors, I uh, build a single energy plant and then I'm gonna go for a vehicle factory. Now you don't necessarily need to go for a vehicle factory, you can go for a bot factory or you can go for an air factory um, or a naval factory if you spawn in water. But I prefer the vehicle factory because I can get pretty much anything basic out um, when I need to get it out. And then immediately after vehicle factory I'm gonna queue up a bunch of energy. You want to keep your commander as um, immobile as possible. What I mean by that is the commander is really efficient when it comes to building stuff, but um, he's really really slow when it comes to moving around. Ah oh, shit, I didn't... yeah. Another tip, um, if you build early in the game, try to pick a location where there aren't any trees, because otherwise the commander starts clearing us out and you lose a lot of time, which I just did. Um, so an opponent would now have his factory already up while I'm still struggling with this one, which is not good. So yes, I immediately queue up an engineer and I set this to continuously build. So this single engineer is going to be constantly built. As soon as it reaches the end of the build queue, it will restart that build queue. And I'm, I keep seeing engineers That's actually something from Supreme Commander. They weren't called Fabers, they were called engineers there. Um, but basically, fabrics are your basic building units. So I'm gonna use these to actually claim some more metal spots, and for some reason the area commands don't seem to be working at all. I, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, okay, now it actually is working. I seem to have some UI issues today. 
Um, but we'll bear through that. So, ideally, yeah. What I'm doing here is I'm every fabric that rolls off the conveyor belt or on the factory line, I immediately assign to uh, claiming as many metal spots as I possibly can. And I'm gonna keep doing that for a little while while the commander is actually working on the energy plants. As you can see, as you can see, my economy is thanking rather hard. Um, but that's sort of okay since I'm basically only building economy buildings. So it's gonna write itself quite shortly. And early game, it's not all that um, unusual that you tank your economy a little bit as long as you just try to fix that. Uh, always try to have your fabrics doing something. If they are just adding, they're useless. So yeah, as you can see my economy is starting to stabilize how many. Yeah, I've got quite a bit of power queued up still. At this point I'm gonna go for a second factory. I think I'm gonna go for a bot factory so I can potentially harass and scout. Uh, I haven't actually built a scout yet, which is a mistake. So. It's always a good idea to mix in some skitters early on, so the skitters can actually scatter around the planet and hopefully find the enemy position before they find you and know what's going on with that enemy position. There we go. Um, so it's always a good idea to use area commands if you can at all manage. This engineer is not doing anything, so I'm gonna assign him to build even more metal extractors. Uh, let's see, what are we going to build? I'm going to build a couple of boxes. These are, yeah, basic... Ah, there we go. So I'm going to set this scout to actually patrol the planet and hopefully find the enemy emplacement. I'm going to make an air factory now so I can get some air fighters up and hopefully clear the skies. The economy is doing fine, you should never stop, and this is really important, you should never stop working on your economy. You should always be building and um, you should always be expanding and building more units. Oh jeez. So what I'm doing here, area commands, is if you, oops, I already found one and he's actually building units and I haven't built any units thus far. And the commander is here. Still I should be fine, it's only a single inferno tank. Yeah, come on, we're gonna take that, no problem. Which actually does mean that we need to get some more vehicle factories up and running, and I'm gonna stop building skitters because I have enough of those. You also want to spread out your buildings. It's not import as important early game as it is later on, but it's still quite important. Um, reason for that is if you get hit by a nuke, or a load of nukes, then if your buildings are spread out, you will take less damage. And we have a fabric incoming, I'm gonna try and reclaim him. No, he's running away, it's fine, it's fine. Probably gonna set a defensive tower here now. And I still haven't built a radar, which I am going to do now, so... It's quite important to get scouting into the lab, so I'm also gonna build my air fighters, so I can control over my base. Uh, it keeps sending in tanks, which is really quite annoying. Where is that vehicle factory? It's building really slowly, I'm gonna queue up an hour. There we go. Uh, two skitters, so just to control the entire plant and hopefully find the enemy. How many docks do we have thus far? We have a number. I'm gonna get these out and hopefully harass a bit. It's never too early to attack in this game. That's also something to remember. I'm gonna set a defensive turret down here and get some balls in front of that so it has more survivability. I'm being scattered here as well, I just noticed. But I'm definitely gonna need more power. Uh, but Fico Factories, I am going to cycle builds as I usually do. I'm gonna get some spinners out. These are anti air missile launchers, uh, two inferno tanks, quite durable, short range and then a few Aventails, which are run-of-the-mill tanks. They don't have that much HP, but they're still pretty useful. Uh, there's a metal spot here, I'm gonna take that out. And we've got a feather as well. This is where dogs are really useful. Um, scouting around, taking out metal spots, just general being a pain in the ass. That's what you want to use those guys for. Still haven't... Ooh, Jesus Christ. 
it did set this to continuous build, which is a mistake on my part, I'm gonna fix it now. We can set engineers or fabrics to assist factories, which is always a good idea. And I'm gonna get me an orbital launcher so I can take the second planet and set these guys to assist here. And I should probably build a few more vehicle factories, which I'm going to do now. For a week. Quite a bit of incoming here. Uh, where are my vehicle factories? Yeah, set so your rally points there. See, this is where walls are really useful. Sure, the grenadiers who actually can shoot over the walls. Um, most projectiles get blocked by the walls, so if you put down a turret, it's never a bad idea to put some walls in front of them. Which I'm going to do here as well, and I'm going to get them more monster out. Yeah, I'm going to probably lose a few guys here. Uh, we got a force fire. Oh, why is my energy low? Ah, I'm not building enough energy. Um, boom, boom, boom. You, I need two of you guys, and I need you to be working on energy stats. Yeah, you just keep working on this. Oh, Jesus Christ. And get me a few Avengers out. There we go. Uh, what I'm also going to do is, these guys are not doing much of anything, so I'm going to set them on a patrol pad. And I'm not claiming any more metal, which is also a mistake, and I'm going to rectify that straight away. So you want to be constantly getting more resources, getting more tech, more of everything. More is better. And we've got a lot of bots here as well, so I'm going to send these out. Scout around and see if they can destroy anything. Actually. I should get around this area, they probably can do some damage there. Uh, but they're gonna move straight to the base, so I'm gonna shift click here, make him go around this area and hopefully take out a few metal spots there. Well, there's a lot of shit blowing up all over the place. Oh, we're being shelled, that's annoying. I'm gonna send out these tanks here, because they built some artillery, and I don't like that. Yeah, they built a filter over there. Uh, economy is stabilizing. I'm probably gonna tech up and get the in advance for the vehicle factory out soon. It's always a good idea to have a pretty balanced mix of units. Oh, that's a commander. Um, if you can snipe a commander, you should definitely try to do that. I don't think I have enough to take him out, but getting his HP lower is certainly a good idea. Yeah, the Evan are taking a few pot shots at him. So that's always good. Uh, we do have a few fabrics here normally. Yeah, we do. That's good. So I'm gonna get me an advanced vehicle factory around this area. Ooh, I might also need some defenses. Probably not send these. Whoa, that's a lot of fabrics. Send a load of tanks over there so I can defend. Where are my. Bolts, there they are. Okay, so you guys want to actually take care of these metal spots. I'm actually gonna open the pip. You can do that by clicking this icon here, and then you can keep track of two locations at the same time. So I can keep track of my base and keep track of these units here. And you can just switch switch between the two by clicking these arrows. And you can actually still give commands and move the camera around if you move like this, which is really quite useful. So I recommend you use that. Um, if you have a lower spec PC, then I might not be uh, all that recommended that you do it. Because it does tank performance somewhat. And yeah, tanking performance in a game like this isn't always that useful, let's say. Okay, uh, how's this thing coming along? Quite okay. I do want a few. Advanced fabrication vehicles out, some A, and then Vanguards and Levelers. Look, he's doing the same thing with his bolts, he's harassing my base as well. And you guys are going to come around here, getting a few Avengers out, and I should probably also try and claim the other planet. Make these guys over here because I see more metal that we can actually take out quite easily. And we have another load of bots that we can use to harass, I'm going to send these this way. 
Actually, I'm running quite low on factories. I should be building quite a bit more. So, um, this only goes to show that I'm not all that good a player. And, oh shit, he's sending in units and we do want to keep that factory alive if all possible. And we have another bunch of units, so I'm gonna send these in through the front. Be an annoying asshole with them. He's also sending in a few units this way. Um, once you guys actually finish this factory, you might want to get some turrets down. I'm gonna wall this off a bit. Uh, dude, more walls, yeah, that's uh, better. That's what I had in mind. Okay, so this factory is done, and we can actually get some more advanced eco out if we have some time. Okay, I'm gonna do some damage to his base. He's got quite a few turrets down here, so it won't be that substantial. Uh, any damage I can do is good. And he still hasn't gotten off world, which is also good. Actually, I'm gonna send my adventures. I've got 12 at this point over his base, so he can't get off world, which is something I should have done way sooner. And then I'm gonna build a few more fabrication bots. Got quite a few fabrics here as well, so I'm gonna make another air factory so I can make advanced air. Okay, you are gonna be mainly boosting my economy. I want advancement all over the place. Uh, we seem to have a few tanks set our way, so I'm gonna deal with that. These spots got taken out. Um, and I think, yeah, I definitely lost my bots there, so I wasn't keeping track of those and lost those without any damage being dealt. We have a few new bots out there, so I'm gonna send these to this area. I think we took out everything that was there, so that's good. Um, it's probably rebuilding. Yeah, I don't know where he's at. Uh, we seem to have a few enemies coming in here, so I'm quickly gonna place a third. It should be enough to actually take care of that, and then we can proceed with still making a factory. Yeah, this, this is up right on time. These guys are not gonna be able to do much of anything. I have misplaced walls, but it's fine. They got free range to deal with that. Um, as you notice, my metal is tanking quite substantially. The reason for that is because I'm upgrading my metal economy. And if you're going to the tech 2 economy, then yeah, you are using quite a bit of resources. So that does tend to happen, which is really quite annoying. What the hell just happened with these walls here? I think a bomber might have swung by and killed them. Okay, gonna get some new bots on there to actually finish that building. Wow, we're using quite a bit of metal. Um, we do have a number of wrecks around here, so I'm actually gonna use a new thing to get some of that back. Yeah, got some abigails of this that are good for my commander. Not all that useful. Uh, I'm gonna send these guys over there. Uh, we have oh we have a few guys that aren't doing anything, so I'm gonna get even more metal spots. I'm not controlling enough of the planet at the moment, and this is a pretty big mistake on my part. We do have the orbital fabers up, so I'm gonna send these to this planet, and I'm gonna have them construct a gate. Then I'm gonna use my clip to actually keep track of that, and it's gonna construct gate in my own base, so I can actually connect those two up as soon as possible. There we go. Oh, I took a few pieces out of his base, that's quite lovely. Uh, yeah, 
I definitely want more metal spots so I'm gonna go oh, Jesus Christ, what's going on here? Yeah, this is something that can also happen if you're using the VIP. The UI might start flashing out, which is really quite annoying, but um, I haven't found a remedy for that thus far. Okay, so the gate is up on the other planet, and the gate is up on the main planet, so I'm gonna connect these two, send a couple of engineers to, and also send a couple of tanks and supporting vehicles through. Our economy is now starting to stabilize, which is very nice. Okay, gonna set up a quick air factory so I can control the entire planet. Uh, continuous build mode, and I'm gonna set them to control the entire planet. These guys are gonna take every single metal spot we can get our hands on. And the other four guys are first gonna build me a radar. And then an advanced speed factory. Actually, oh, I just saw him land something over there, which is not good at all. So I'm gonna send these tanks in, which I sent over for a reason. Oh, we also have a bomber already up, that's nice. Ah, he sent over his commander! That's a big mistake. See, this is why you want to be using orbital fabrics instead of the. Um, Strays. No, no, no. Shit, there's a fighter up, but I need to fight to take out these strays. Oh, these strays went down. Excellent. So, that commander cannot escape. And I can actually take it out at my leisure, which is most excellent. You don't want to have your commander be undefended at any time. That's the worst thing that you can possibly do. Uh, and also a very useful thing that you can do is you can um, set your factories to connect to a gate so everything that gets produced by these factories will immediately go through this gate and end up here and actually be ready to attack Kamara. And we took out Kamara, so you won. So even though he's still at quite a substantial base on this planet, uh, let's go to review game, that is virtually worthless because, well, I took down his commander. He actually managed to outproduce my Avengers, apparently. Let's go back 15 seconds. Yeah, he actually was starting to win the orbital game, but I didn't care because I forgot I was commander. So, never forget the main objective of the game. Kill the commander, win the game. Implicit, but because that is actually just going wrong. Um, so, even though you might be massively ahead, never lose track of where your commander is and make sure that he is uh, very much protected the entire time. Mine was relatively protected here in the center of my base, so... Yeah. So I hope this was helpful. I definitely recommend playing some games and trying out the tips and tricks that I gave you and I will see you guys in the future. Also, if you like this, please like it. If you have questions, you can post it in the comment section. And if you want to see more PA um, related stuff, then please by all means subscribe and any other game related stuff really. And I'll be seeing you guys in the future.